सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी फॉर द जी एन एम फर्स्ट इयर एंड इन दिस यूनिट सिक्स रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सो लास्ट क्लास वी है लास्ट क्लास वी है इन अबाउट द लंग्स सो इट इज अ पार्ट टू अबाउट दि लंग्स सो इट इज ए पार्ट टू अबाउट दि लंग्स सो लंग्स अप टू वी हाव सी इन अब द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दि लंग्स एंड नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द आलवियोलाइ सो लास्ट क्लास वी हाव सी इन अप टू द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दि लंग्स एंड इट इज अंटिन्यूस कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ दि लंग्स इट इज बिकम पार्ट टू एंड नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एलवियोलाइ सो एलवियोलाइ इट इज ए लोकेटेड एट द एंड ऑफ दि ब्रांकियल ट्यूब्स सो एट द एंड ऑफ दि ब्रांकियल ट्यूब्स एंड द एलवियोल कैन बी सिचुएटेड सो एट द एंड ऑफ दि ब्रांकियल ट्यूब्स द एलवियोल कैन बी सिचुएटेड एंड देर इज ए टाइनी एयर सैक्स इन युअर लंग्स इट इज ए बिकम टाइनी एंड देर इज ए प्रसेंट इन द इन अवर लंग्स एंड द टेक अप द ऑक्सीजन यू ब्रीथ इन एंड कीप युअर body going so the alveoli can helps in the oxygen which are we are inhaling it can be take up oxygen you breathe in and keep our body is going so there is a alveoli become tiny air sacs in our body it helps in the take up the oxygen while breathing and in keep your body going so uh, alveoli become located at the end of the branchial tubes so there is a called as alveoli and it is become cone shaped and outpouching supported by a thin elastic basement membrane so outpouching outpouching of the alveoli so there there is a become cone shaped so outpouching of the alveoli alveoli become cone shaped and there is a alveoli can be supported by the ethin elastic basement membrane so the alveoli can be supported by the thin elastic basement membrane so the alveoli can be located at the end of the branchial tubes and it can be helps in the and it is become tiny air sacs in our body and then take up of oxygen and you breathe in and keep your body going so it is become cone shape and there is a supported by a thin elastic basement membrane so there is a alveoli can be supported by the thin basement elastic membrane and next one is the distal respiratory passage supported by loose network of elastic connective tissue so the res- the distal part of the so distal means end part of the respiratory passage can be supported by the network of hel- elastic connective tissue so the distal part of the respiratory passage can be supported by the network of elastic connective tissue and it in microphages nerves and blood and lymph vessels can be included so the res- the distal respiratory passage and supported by a network of elastic connective tissue and this connective tissue it includes the microphages and the nerves and the blood and lymph vessels so the microphages the microphages it is a one type of the phagocytes and it is a fight against the infection so it can be destroys the pathogens which are enter into the body so it is a because microphages it is a type of the phagocytes so it can be protect the body from against the infection so it can it this it can be destroy the pathogens which are enter into the body it can be destroyed by the microphages and there is a nerves and the blood and the lymph vessels can be included in the elastic connective tissue and it can be supported to the distal respiratory passage and there is a next one is the alveoli are surrounded by a dense network of capillaries so the alveoli become surrounded by a dense network of capillaries so the capillaries it is nothing but group of 
blood vessels so the blood vessels includes the arteries and the veins can be connected by the capillary so the alveoli can be surrounded by the dense network of capillaries and capillaries is nothing but there is a branch of blood vessels and the arteries and the veins can be connected by the capillaries and next one is exchange of gases in lung takes place across a membrane and made up of the alveolar wall and the capillary wall fused firmly together called as respiratory membrane so in this alveoli there is a exchange of gases in lung takes place across the membrane so the membrane can be made up of the alveolar wall and the ca capillary wall so the alveolar alveolar wall and the capillary wall become fused together and this mem it is called as respiratory membrane so through this respiratory membrane the gas of exchange into the lungs so the exchange of gases can be occur in the lungs by the there is a respiratory membrane takes place across the membrane made up of the alveolar wall and the capillary wall so the alveolar wall and the capillary wall can be fused together by the membrane so this membrane has called as respiratory membrane so by this respiratory membrane the gas exchange can be occur in the lungs so it is about the alveoli and next one is difference between the right and the left lung and the, there is a difference between the right and left lung so right lung it consists of two fissures and three lobes and there is a two fissures includes the horizontal fissure fissure and the oblique fissure and there is a three lobes and the middle upper middle and lower lobes and the anterior is become straight so anterior part of the lungs can be become straight and larger become it is become large and heavier weighs about 700 grams so the weight of the right lung is become 700 grams and it is a become shorter and become broad so it is about right lung so right lung consists of two fissures and the three lobes and the anterior part of the lung become straight and become it weighs about the 700 grams and the larger and heavier and shorter and broad and next one is left lung so left lung is left there is a one fissure and the two lobes and there is a anterior border is interrupted by the cardiac nodes so in this right lung anterior border of the lung become straight so in this left lung anterior border is become interrupted by the cardiac nodes so between the lungs the heart can be situated so because of this uh, heart and there is a left lung can be interrupted and the anterior part of the left lung can be in, uh, interrupted by the cardiac nodes and there is a left lung become smaller and the lighter weighs about 600 grams so right lung can be 700 grams and left lung can be 600 grams and it is become longer and the narrower than the right lung so it is become longer and the narrower than the right lung and anterior border become interrupted by the cardiac nodes so left lung and uh, right lung of anterior part of the right lung become straight so left lung anterior part become inter in interrupted by the cardiac nodes so it is a difference between the and left lung and the right lung and next one is blood supply so there is a arterial supply there is includes the pulmonary and the bronchial artery so there is a pulmonary artery is one pulmonary artery and there is a bronchial arteries so pulmonary arteries can carries the deoxygenated blood into the lungs and for the oxygenation and bronchial arteries there is a deoxygenated oxygenated blood can be transport to the uh, lungs to heart and next one is venous drainage so venous drainage it includes the bronchial vein so bronchial vein it includes the right bronchial vein and the left bronchial 
vein. So, right branchial vein can be drains into the azygous vein. So, azygous vein it can be situated on each side of the vertebral column. So, the azygous vein can be situated at the side of the each side of the vertebral vertebral column. So, vertebral column it can be situated the azygous vein. So, it can carry the deoxygenated from the deoxygenated blood from the posterior chest and the abdominal wall. So, it is about the azygous vein. It can be situated on each side of the vertebral column and it carries the deoxygenated blood from the posterior chest and the abdominal wall. So, it is about the azygous vein. So, right bronchial vein drain into the azygous vein. So, from this right bronchial vein, the blood can be drained into the azygous vein. And next left bronchial vein drain into the hemiazygous vein. So, hemiazygous vein, it can carry the blood from the posterior intercostal vein. So, it is about the hemizygous vein and hemizygous vein, it carries the blood from the right posterior intercostal vein. So, right posterior intercostal vein. Now, there is a left bronchial vein can be drained the blood into the hemizygous vein. So, it is about venous drainage. There is a bronchial vein. There is a two bronchial veins, right bronchial vein and the left bronchial vein. Right bronchial vein can drain into the azygous veins. Azygous vein means it can be located on each side of the vertebral column and there is a carries the deoxygenated blood from the posterior chest and abdominal wall. And next to left bronchial vein, it can be drains into the hemiazygous vein. It is nothing but hemiazygous vein. It can be carries the blood from the posterior intercostal vein. So, it is about the blood supply and there is a function. So, functions includes the external respiration. So, external respiration means there is an exchange of gases by diffusion alveoli and blood into the alveolar capillaries. So, across the respiratory membrane. So, in this external respiration, the gas exchange can be occur through the respiratory membrane. And there is an exchange of gases by the diffusion. Diffusion, diffusion means there is a fluids or the gases can be transported from the higher concentration to lower concentration. So, the gases exchange can be occur from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. So, the diffusion can be occur between the alveoli and the alveolar capillaries. So, by the respiratory membrane. So, it is an external respiration. So, the gas exchange can be occur between the alveoli and the alveolar capillaries by the respiratory membrane. So, diffusion means there is a passage of exchange of gases from the higher concentration to lower concentration. And next is a warming and humidifying. So, warming and humidifying. So, after the warming and humidifying, the gas has inhaled. If the air is not warming or humidifying, so it can be irritate the mucus and the mucus of the respiratory system. So, warming and humidifying can be the can done by the lungs. So, it is very important warming and humidifying. If the air is not warming and humidifying, it can cause the irritation of the membrane of the respiratory system. So, it can complete about the lungs. So, it is completes the lungs and thank you.